we really haven't uh, talked about smart materials and with a phrase smart materials what I can tell you is that there are a lot of materials that a lot of people don't realize how efficient and how smart they really are um, you know a common one that is you know really come into place the last 20 30 years is synthetic architecture back in the day you used to call it astroturf and it was the ugliest thing you know and, and it was uh, like a carpet uh, that was hard to walk on very dangerous uh, 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 when uh, football players would fall on it and they would scrape themselves and it was on top of a hard surface today it's very very close to natural turf except it doesn't require any water so that is a smart material you know synthetic turf uh, there are other materials like intumescent paint you know this is a paint that uh, prevents fires it's not flammable so when you coat a structure with that paint it makes it gives it a fire protection surfacing um, but I think that probably some of the other ways that we design that are uh, really important to consider is like for example anti-terrorism force protection systems these are ATFP as it's commonly known they are uh, rules and codes that apply to military and uh, the federal government government facilities primarily and these are uh, really used to protect its inhabitants um, the, the um, after September 11th uh, and so a lot of these acts of terrorism that have occurred over the last 30 years it's become very very important to be able to design with these codes in place uh, there is a setback from where vehicles can approach a building. Uh, the whole idea is to be able to prevent the detonation inside that vehicle that could kill a lot of people within these buildings. Also, the hardening of the shell of a building is very, very important to be able to withstand a blast of an explosion or you know bullets off of a gun um, you know the type of glass that we use is very very important as well uh, so these rules are pretty uh, much um, used in every federal government facility and we need to be really uh, educated on not only how to apply them but what the reason is that they that they exist and they become part of our design process and every building after September 11th uh, has had a requirement to have these these um, these uh, codes implemented in the design.